follow Helen Paul and I, Frank Donga. Do you know that Nigeria is the third largest producer of ginger in the world? Maybe that's why we have this ginger torch. Ginger, oh, ginger. And time's up. As we uncover the untold stories of food heroes on the front lines. If I have money, I will maximize this place. I have the capacity to plant 500 hectares a year. Parasites is the major problem also in farming. Connecting them to untapped opportunities and the experts who can solve their problems. You can't plant the same plant, somebody can plant. Nice plant. We ah. have to follow the Nanit report to know when the rainfall and you know, the price is up. So that is the challenge. If tomato touches the water, then it starts rotting. Tomato should not touch the water. This is Farm and Fortune. I sold off my job. I brought the money in 1997, employed more workers, and I planted the first 20 hectares of land. I think at the level I, at, as he is, as now. he can actually remain at that level. And do better. Split the palm leaf in two and start weaving a basic weave pattern. Helen, please redo me. I should redo you. you. Do you want to embarrass me? You know I'm not so good with riddles. No, no, nah, <laughs> it's not that difficult, Joe. It's what? very simple. All you have to do is just think outside the box. Okay. I am something. Okay. I share names with a part of your hand. I come out once a year on Sunday. I have many children, and every one of them is useful for at least something. What am I? <sighs> well, relating it to agriculture, the program, hand, Sunday, once in a year, palm tree. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Uh -huh. I knew you were not going to disappoint me. Okay. I knew you were not going to disappoint me. Okay, you know what? Do you know that this thing you're talking about now, this palm tree can produce or can do different things, like seven unique things with palm tree, palm kernel, palm oil, hey, palm, palm, down, yeah, palm, 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 palm. It's okay. We are going to get into all that and much more. Let's start the show first now. That's true. Hello, everyone. My name is Helen Paul. And I'm Frank Donga. And this is Farm and, and Fortune. fortune. We have a special guest in the studio with us today. He's a veterinary researcher. Veterinary researcher with the Nigerian Institute for Oil Palm Research, NIFO. He has extensive knowledge and background in oil palm research. He's going to be discussing with us. He's no other person but Dr. Celestine Ikwenobe. Welcome, sir. Thank you so very much. Good Thank to you. have you. Good to have you too. Good to have you here. Thank Doctor, you. Um, it, it's, let, let's hit the ground running. The palm tree is such an intimidating plant. You yeah. know, it's very tall and huge with all the fawns and uh, yeah. fawns swinging left and right if the wind blows. Yeah. How does one even begin, you know, when you want to cultivate the palm tree or you want to have a plantation? Where do you start from? Well, first, you realize that as tall as it is, it starts as a seed. Seed. Mm -hmm. It doesn't start as a tall plant. It starts mm. as a seed, which eventually grows gradually until it gets that tall. And most of the tall palms you see are older than 20 years. Hey. So that means they have been there for well over 20 years and they have been fruiting since the time they were about two or three years old. Mm. So they fruit for a very long time. That's why we say it's a tree crop and it's a tree crop of life and it's also a tree crop of money because you may, imagine you as already begin to have vest when the farm is about three, four years old and it's 20 years old, they still producing. So you have not taken it out of there. It's standing where it, you planted it. But that time, in between about 20 years ago, when um, you started seeing now, you are beginning to see the palm now as a 20-year-old man or a 20-year-old palm. If you drive across Nigeria, mm. you will see palm trees in so many places. Mm. I mean, literally, eh, almost everywhere, especially from the southwest, we mm. off to the north, and mm. you begin to see. Is it that this tree can grow anywhere and in any part of the country? Where exactly does it grow best and mm. what are the soil requirements? Does it need fertilizer or okay. manure? Tell us more about that. Well, let me start with the last one. Any plant will need fertilizer or manure. Any plant? Any plant. That just because, you see, the plant is already fixed to the soil. Mm. So it's already mining the nutrients in that soil. So you need to replenish the nutrients. You know, the nutrients get replenished by um, leaf fall, by organic matter that falls to the ground, or you can then add some inorganic fertilizers to it to help it to grow. 
But even when you don't apply uh, fertilizers or manure as a plant to stay grow, but it might not yield and give fast. you the kind of yield that you expect. They will you grow fast, but okay, but they will not give you the kind of yield you will expect. Okay. But that it goes across the country, yes, it goes across the country. What it needs is water hmm. from rain. That's why it's more adapted to the rainforest part of Nigeria, mostly the southern part of Nigeria, mm -hmm. and then the wetter parts of Kaduna State, for instance. Parts of Kaduna State is very wet, and then also um, around river banks where, it's, where you can find moisture or wetness. Then the terms of soil requirements, it just needs a deep soil that is loose where it can... The roots Take can that close. again. The soil requirement takes yes, what? Yes, the soil requirement yes. will mean that the soil should be loose enough to, for you to have uh, the roots to take effect. But which okay. soil is not loose? They, no, so are, let me tell you which roots are not loose. Yes. On top of rocky soils, for instance, where the soil is just rocky, very Rock, small, yes. very narrow thing yes. of soil. Yes. That's what it is. Okay. But when you say soil is loose, it's as it's loose enough for it to for the water to drain. Mm. Then there are also some areas which is so waterlogged that it, it, it doesn't drain. Those areas are not good for the palm. I should be saying the, the palm tree likes it water. It requires water. Let's give you water. But now. The water it requires, you don't, you don't soak it with water. The oh, fact okay. that you want to drink water doesn't mean it's inside the swimming pool. But how, yeah. how long? Because I, I keep checking the time. Yeah. I'm particular about timing. Mm -hmm. How long does it take for you to have an oil plantation? The, the time. Well, the time. I is, just, I, to I'm not producing. Uh, palm oil, yes, the oil for the oil itself. For the oil itself, the, which the oil is from the fruits. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you see, the palm begins to fruit about two and a half years. Two and a half years. Well, we I can begin well, to we're get the oil. That, well, we're not saying three to four years. Let's put that three to four years. Over time, mm. you keep reaping, and it increases. There is incremental. Uh, so it fruits every it, year. It fruits every year. How many times a year? It fruits all through the year. All, mm. all through the year, all so you are making palm oil. Yes. See, I'll so, be richer so, so, than you. So, so it's reaching oil, it's, it's dripping all through the year. And as, as it's doing all through the year, what then happens is that uh, in the early years, you have low yield. For, when you begin to grow, it's more, you consistent. To, yes, it becomes, and you get more yield. My and, money will be and, consistent. And it's consistent. Yes. You're not, com you're not cutting down. You can actually go and sleep, and then people come and say, okay, I, I want to harvest. Want to harvest oh, I want to harvest. And please, so we have 10 billion. They're going to harvest the bunches, and you and sleep. And you just and collect you money, your money. You That's sleep. it. You it's see? It's like, we are collecting rent at that stage. Like That's it. Rent, yes, so. on my palm yes. tree. It's because they are not patient. Because if she didn't patient now, mm -hmm. she no hair, you think you wanted to yes. tell her. Why she's waiting, sir, what can she, what kind of crops can she what plant? What you can then do when you, are, when you are waiting, you can plant other crops, you call intercrops. Like? You can plant maize. Yes. You can plant cassava. Cassava. I mean, at least before it begins to open up, you can plant a watermelon. Which what is a, you can do vegetables in between. On the same land? Yes, on the same land. Okay. So Beside the that, palm tree? Yes. Ah. So you can be doing nice. all that because the palms are widely spaced. Very big. It's yes. a widely spaced. What's the spacing, sir? It will space about eight and a half meters by eight and a half meters. That is the, the Hold on. Eight and a half meters. Eight and a half meters yes. by eight, eight and a half, half meters. meters. I mean, yes. Mm. So, but usually we say, use nine meters because most people cannot measure that half. So you just say nine meters. Nine meters. It's very nine meters. So. It's very obvious, sir, that you can't rush greatness. You know, it takes yes. time. Everything mm. good, it mm. takes time, you know. Yeah, and that's why we know somebody, you know, in those states, mm. Kifadejo, who is a, you know, um, palm tree mm. farmer, you know, yes. he's into oil palm, yes. you know. Let's take a look at him now at home. You know, you join us. Let's see what is happening in Ondo State with Chief Adejo. And don't forget, if you want to participate in what we're doing, you want to learn more, or you want to, you know, start yourself up in farming and get information that is important, you know what to do. Go to your app store and download the Udongo app. And engage with the app and you get loads of information that will help you. So right now, let's take a short break and see what Chief Adejo is doing in Ondo State. We'll be, we'll be right, right back. When you choose to play on the fields of the ancient agrarian marketplace, Consider a good coach to take along with you. The Udongo app is your gateway to the Nigerian agricultural ecosystem. Whether you are a newbie or an oldie, signing up instantly connects you with a community of other farmers, products, agents, distributors and resources all in one place. Access our unique and simple interface from the bustling big cities to the most remote regions across Nigeria. Enjoy full access to real-time farming solutions that help you make timely and profitable decisions. Or allow our one-on-one -on -one consultancy services cheer you on with each move you make. As a newbie or oldie looking to make a big agricultural footprint, feel secure knowing you have the best coach always in your pocket. Udongo app is your personalized farming coach, available to you every time, anywhere, just at the click of a button. Download the Udongo app from the Google Play Store now and enjoy new opportunities.
When Chief Adejo planted the first oil palm on this plantation, it didn't seem like the smartest thing to do. He was simply following his heart and taking a big gamble on his conviction. I was the first to go into palm plantation. Many of my colleagues, when we came in 1995 to Akwea Land, many were telling me they want to plant cocoa. I was the only one that told them, plant palm. And after many years, when they saw my palm coming up, and they saw that, ah, uh -uh, this guy, you are doing very well. I said, yes, I'm still expanding. We are the idea stopped. Although he was born and raised in a family of cocoa farmers and had a thriving career as an engineer, Chief Adejo believed strongly that oil palm farming was the future. In those days, during the time the cocoa season is off, what we depended on only was the palm. Starting a palm plantation, I knew that it's not, the palm plantation is just a basic aspect of the industry. Palm oil is an industry. You cannot do it just by saying, I, I planted, I harvest, and so you'll be working for others. Like I'm still working for others now. Because when I process my oil and it becomes palm oil, I still sell it as crude palm oil. There is a way I can add one or two other steps to it, and I will become it will become another thing. And I will sell it at a better price, and the market is more diverse than just selling the palm oil. 80% of the oil that you eat as vegetable oil in Nigeria is from palm oil. The basic product is palm oil. That's number one. Your indomie, you eat. Your spaghetti, you eat. Your chocolate, you eat. All the cosmetics, most of the cosmetics we use are byproducts of palm oil. From here, I can produce olin, I can produce uh, edible oil, I can produce anything within the palm, just a little of a package, a package, uh, package uh, industry. Just put a big, one package industry, I put a, a container here, I start producing olin. Having a desire is one thing, seeing it through is another. How did Chief Adejo take the first steps towards his dreams? What does it take to start an oil palm plantation from scratch? I went to Undo and I told my opa that I need land. He said, if you give me 25 acres somewhere in the, uh, in the area, I look at it, I see 25 acres is too small for me. And he asked me, are you the only one that's going to use the whole land of Undo? So I came back to Akure and I spoke to the chiefs. And one of the chiefs told me, you need land? I said, yes, I want to plant. He said, okay, I will give you, I will help you arrange for land. And he brought me to this place, introduced me to the other. I sold my shops the second year. That is by uh, 1997, I have to sell out the shops and got the money to bring to the farm. Because that time, I decided not to touch my savings first. I started with what I have on ground. I sold off my shop. I brought the money in 1997, employed more workers, and I planted the first 20 hectares of land. And that's how I started. Success indeed begins with the first step. Now that the vision he had 25 years ago has become reality, we can rightly conclude that Chief Adejo's dream has become an oil palm empire. Chief Adejo had really high hopes. Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes, I agree with you. And his success is so beautiful to watch. Mm. Uh, Dr. Celestine is still in the house with us. And of course, I have a lot to ask him. I'm so hungry to learn about our oil plantation. Please, I want to ask you a question, Dr. Celestine. Mm. How much does it take to have a oil plant? Uh, well, you know, Chief Adejo's success is what everybody what we're celebrating here. Yes, sir. And that success did not come easy. Hmm. There are also some others who started out and hmm. probably did not succeed as he has succeeded. They know it's you. I'm not going to catch that. Yeah. So the uh. first thing is to have the foresight. Yes, sir. To have the doggedness. Okay. To have the perseverance. Perseverance. And I think that's the first cost, as I put, before you put monetary cost to that. Because you can have all the money, you can throw all the money to the face, but if you're not doing the right thing and you're not persevering, you don't have the foresight, you, you don't have the knowledge. You might not go that far. You may not get that far. So the first thing to do is acquire the knowledge first. Mm. That's the first cost. The second cost is perseverance. Perseverance. And the third cost is doing it right. Before the money. Before the money. Okay. So now, if we then want to talk about the money, what do we now do? First, get the right seed. Right seed. seed. 
because there are a lot of fake seats outside. Hmm? Fake seats? Fake seats outside. Just the way you have fake, fake drugs. And there's no way we can regulate them, getting them. Well, government tries to regulate, but how do you regulate the man who is on the street selling to the man who you don't know how he's selling? Sorry, sir. By fake seeds, so, you mean seeds that have not been improved? Yes, seeds that have not been improved. That will fall your yes, hands. Yes. If you plant them, yes. bank, bank on yes. them for 25 years. Yes, for five, hey. you can be just be there. If they are yielding, they're even small for you. Okay. Wow. So that's one. So to do the right, so have the first knowledge and know where to go to for knowledge. Having the right knowledge, knowledge know where to go, go to, to for, for the knowledge. knowledge and okay. know where to go to for the materials you require. So you don't, you don't get fall into hands of wrong materials. Thank you. So the next cost we are talking of, we never to put in terms of money, is that if you buy the right seed now, as of today, the seedling is 500 naira from an iPhone. 500? One, one seedling, Just 500? One, one, one seedling, 500 naira. Okay. And then for one hectare, you need about 150 pounds. Hmm. Oh. So multiply that 500 by that. That's it. That's what you put in terms of pumps. But in terms of land clearing, it depends on the labor cost in your locality. Mm. So that's why we cannot put a fixed value to say mm. this is the value. But for those things, we can put fixed value in terms of money. Yes. See, for the seeds, we say seedlings now 500 naira. Okay. And then, but you, if you want to also raise your nursery, if you can buy seeds from us, we sell the seed to you for 100 naira. Okay. And you go and raise your nursery for one year. Okay. If you can do that. So it depends on how you think it's easy Thank for you. Thank you, sir. Then after you now buy your seedlings, mm -hmm. then you now plant. You plant, you protect it with proper um, wire netting against yes. rodents. Yes. So that's another cost. Yeah. Then the other cost is cost of weeding. Mm -hmm. So those ones we're not putting cost now because it depends on the locality. Okay. Then we're also not putting cost on land because land can be free to you. You can you could have inherited land. Yes. You could have just uh, your, your family your Obama yes. may have just decided yes. so uh, I love this man, come and take this land. Yes. And nobody fights you over the land. Mm -hmm. And then um, so that's where it is. Yeah. So so it, the cost will vary from place to place. If you know that you are plant, you are planting a palm, which is an investment, okay? And you know that it's a lifetime thing. It's going to keep giving you money for the future. It's not a wasting, it's not a wasting asset. So it's an asset you must protect. So, but then, how do you start off? There are, there are a lot of challenges. But now, how, what opportunities do you have to start that investment? How do you get land, for instance? How do you get money to buy your, uh, your seedlings? How do you get money to start off by hiring your workers? How do you get money to uh, buy your other inputs that you require? So now, some of it, it depends on how you can, if you have money to, money to put aside, something that you put aside. The way it is, is like investing in your future for a young man like you. So why don't I put money away in the future? Now, you buy, you buy a recharge card every day, for instance. I mean, you buy a recharge card of 1,000 naira. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy a recharge card. <laughs> now, you buy a recharge card of 1,000 naira. You spend that recharge card that same day. Mm -hmm. But if you buy a ceiling that's 500 naira, that ceiling now can last 40 to 60 years. So that ceiling in... And now, it's because it's not wasted, yes. in four, three to four years' time, you are harvesting it. So, which is beginning to bring you money. But the recharge card you bought for 1,000 naira is just it's the gone. same day. So, those are the ways to look at those opportunities as they can come from maybe personal discipline mm -hmm. and looking at investment for the future. The other side is that there are also some government, um, government facilities or government um, interventions now. Mm -hmm. Some state governments are even encouraging their youths to go into to help them. Some the federal government through the central bank now is trying to have an uncovered borrowers program for oil palm, but that is a difficult one yeah. because the small farmer now doesn't have that kind of money to start off and maybe not be as bankable as the bank would want it to be. So now the farmers are also begin to organize themselves into what the, the small farmers into what they call um, the oil palm growers association of Nigeria, OPGAN. And oh, I think OPGAN. Upgun. Upgun. Yes, uh, Upgun Growers Association of Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes. And that group is trying to find a way to help their own members secure facilities for okay. funding and also okay. secure, be able to get some government uh, interventions. But do you, let's go back to Chief mm. Adejo. Yes. yes. Do you think uh, uh, Chief Adejo is maximizing his oil plantation properly? Like, is he doing yeah. it well? In his case, Chief Adejo can even remain mm. just processing palm oil, the crude palm oil alone. Without going to refine him. Okay. Because he has other refiners who want to buy from him. But if he then decides to go the whole hog of um, be processing, stressful. being able to uh, refine his oil, mm -hmm. yes, he could actually do so. And that's the higher investment he needs to have. Okay. And, but um, from the skills I see, 
or 800 hectares, that may not be such good economies of scale to have a, a refinery, except a very small refinery. Okay. Well, I think at the level as he, at, as he, as is, he is now, he can actually remain at that level and do better. But if you're asking what can you do better, the those palms I'm seeing are, are getting close to about 25, 30 yes, years. Yes. Which means that so, very soon those palms, she should be cutting down those palms to replant new ones. Okay. I'm also seeing that he is able to manage his farms very well because from, from what I saw that those palms are very neat. Very neat. Yes. Yes. The farm is very neat. Yes. So the palm is very well kept plantation. Yes. So that's the first beginning. Mm -hmm. Then um, I don't know how much his fertilizer is applying, mm -hmm. but he can do some small fertilization. Like what kind of fertilizer? Yeah, you can, yeah, yeah, at that level now, be, those plants will require more of uh, the potassium fertilizers and the potassium magnesium fertilizers now. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is important. So knowledge, knowledge is, knowledge is very, very, very important. important. Money Thank making you. is good with yes. palm plantations, yes. but definitely it's not child's play. And talking yes. about child's play, we have something very interesting for you that you can try out with your children at home. Our children everywhere in the world will enjoy. Stay tuned, we are not done yet. We'll be right back after this short break. Welcome to the Farm and Fortune DIY Hack. Today, I'll be showing you how to weave palm fronts. Split the palm leaf in two and start weaving a basic weave pattern. Add leaves to build up and keep the weave pattern tight. Continue the weaving pattern until the shape is formed. Tuck loose strands. You can use this pattern to form a box a mat, a hat, and other household items. Keep watching, there's more to come on the show. Welcome back, Estelle Fam and Fortune. Our soil expert is in the house today to share some secrets of the soil in person of Miss Abere Chukwu. Good to have you. Today we'll be looking at oil palm, the money tree. Let's look at the soil report from Akure in Odo State. This is the soil information when the soil, when the soil analysis was done. Okay. And from the screen, you can see that the pH level is very low. Yes. The variable phosphorus is adequate. Okay. The changeable potassium is yes. adequate. adequate. And then coming to total nitrogen is very low. And mm. these are major nutrients that helps this oil pump to strive well, having said that, let's look at the best fertilizer recommendations for a mature oil palm plant. Oil palm plantation production is done in two stages. We have the nursery stage and we have the transplanting stage. At transplanting stage, we advise farmers to apply urea at the rate of 50 kg per hectare, which is equivalent to one bag, MPK 15-15-15, at the rate of 50 kg per hectare, which is equivalent to one bag, we advise them to apply caustic line period to transplanting. Then SSP, that is single superphosphate, they should apply at the rate of 25 kg per hectare, which is equivalent to 0.5 bag, and the application should be done at a maximum of 3 tons per hectare. Then, at first year after transplanting, we encourage farmers to apply urea at the rate of 50 kg per hectare, which is equivalent to 1 bag, MPK 15-15-15, at the rate of 75 kg per hectare, which is equivalent to 1.5 bag, SSP at the rate of 75 kg per hectare, which is equivalent to 1.5 bag, and MOP, muriate of potash, at the rate of 75 kg per hectare, which is equivalent to 1.5 bag. At second year after transplanting, we advise farmers to apply urea at the rate of 100 kg per hectare, which is equivalent to two bags, MPK 15-15-15, at the rate of 100 kg per hectare, which is equivalent to two bags, SSP, at the rate of 200 kg per hectare, which is equivalent to four bags, and MOP, at the rate of 150 kg per hectare, which is equivalent to three bags. 
Finally, a third day after transplanting, we advise farmers to apply urea at the rate of 75 kg per hectare, which is equivalent to 1.5 bags, MPK 15-15-15, at the rate of 200 kg per hectare, which is equivalent to 4 bags, SSP, single superphosphate, at the rate of 200 kg per hectare, which is equivalent to 4 bags, and the last but not the least, MOP, muriate of potash, at the rate of 300 kg per hectare, which is equivalent to 6 bags. We encourage farmers to follow strictly these fertilizer recommendations and they will have a bumper harvest at the end of their oil palm plantation production. And it's game time on Farm and Fortune. You know how we do it here. Every time, always an opportunity to win fantastic prizes. This time around, is the chance to win half a million Naira. I mean, 500,000 Naira worth of farm infields. And with me on my immediate left is Mr. Abiona Olayenka. Welcome to the show. Welcome. And to his immediate left, I have Miss Stella Arowolo. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. So, uh, Miss Stella, you are a vegetable farmer of five years. You've been planting uh, exotic vegetables. How has it been so far? It has been awesome. What about you, Mr. Abiona? I'm into broiler production. Broiler production. Fantastic. All right. You guys know the rules. I mean, the stakes are high, but the rules are pretty much simple. Behind our contestants, we have two boards, one for each person, and on the boards, we have four words that have to be arranged in the order in which it is done on the farm. The first person to finish wins the game. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Your time starts in three, two, go. The time is ticking. The words have to stay on the board. In what order do these things happen on the farm? Ladies and gentlemen, what do we have here? The question was simple. In what order do you have the preparation process or the activities on an oil palm plantation? And you are given time to figure things out. Well, what we have here, starting from you, Miss uh, Stella, land preparation, planting, irrigation, and harvesting. And Mr. Abiono, you had land preparation, planting, irrigation, and harvesting. What do you guys think? The answer is right before, before us. You start with land preparation on the oil palm plantation. You go to planting, you go to irrigation, and you go to harvesting. So we have a clear winner, Mr. Abiono Olayinka. Congratulations. So this now makes you go to the next stage where you compete with other farmers for the opportunity to win 500,000 Naira water farm impute. But right there at home, you know what to do. You can talk to us. Let us know what you think, what you're feeling. If you need any advice, if you want to learn more, you know what to do. Follow us on our social media handles. Follow us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook at Farm and Fortune. We'll be right back. I can't believe the show is done already. I had so much fun. That's what happens when you have so much fun, you don't know that the time has gone. But hey, if you are thinking about starting your own farm or investing in one, yes. you better hang around. Stick around till next week. We'll show you where the money in oil palm plantation is. Oh, she baddest. I didn't want to tell you, but to keep the conversation going, don't forget, it's still Farm and Fortune, Facebook, Instagram, every social media platform, YouTube, at Farm and Fortune. Continue to follow us, and of course, let's keep that conversation going. Until then, my name is Helen Paul. And I'm Frank Donga. See you next, next week. Frank Donga. Are you Frank Donga? No, you're